from London in 1996. I now live and work in a beautiful old woollen mill about 20 miles in, inland from the coast, the Cardigan coast, and I am in my studio every single day. I mean, personally, I don't think I could be an artist if I was only able to do it two or three days a week because I'd lose that strand of thought and I feel that I have to be completely and utterly immersed in my own personal practice as an artist. I think if somebody asked me about how I work and what my process involves, I'd probably say that I was quite a traditional painter. Um, I love oil paint. I love working on gesso grounds, which I make myself out of um, size and chalk. Um, and I like the way the oil paint has an organic reaction with the surfaces that I work on. But my work takes a long time. You know, it, some paintings I've had in my studio, you know, for around about... 18 months and they're still not right and I think using oil paint uh, sort of forces that length of time you know I have to wait for the oil paint to dry before I add the extra layers before I you know sun them back and um, and to complete the work I use colour in a very specific way you know at the moment I've been using quite a lot of yellow and this yellow probably reflects um, the yellow markers that I, I saw in Iceland on the side of the roads and I'm also using quite a lot of blues and sort of turquoises, which also reflect the sort of the, the main sort of colours that I saw in Iceland when I was there in March and uh, February this year. In 2020, I was lucky enough to be an artist in residence at the Hafnaborg Arts and Culture Centre, and I spent four weeks travelling along the south coast of the island, and. The, the way that the landscape made me feel in that place and the actual things that I witnessed have been so fundamentally important in my practice as an artist. I remember standing in the landscape by myself with huge glaciers behind me, the black sea in front of me and feeling that I was fundamentally connected to nature and although I've been incredibly inspired by nature since being an artist, I've never really felt that I was part of nature and this, uh, this trip and the paintings that I've done since going to Iceland um, have really focused on my own personal creative practice.